my name's Mickey. In this drive, I wanna share with you the mentality, the mindset that leads some of us to invest our life savings in a cryptocurrency, hoping that it'll skyrocket to the moon, hoping that that cummy token will come, baby. <laughs> Why? Because we wanna get that purple Lamborghini. We wanna roll around that red 911 looking devilish. And I hate to quote Rick Ross so much, but it's so true. Everybody's putting their money into these speculative cryptocurrencies, hoping that they'll go 100X and their lives will absolutely transform. What I think the danger of this mentality is that it warps your mindset into behaving in a way that's not only not productive, but it makes you utterly miserable. So let me tell you a little bit of a example. Back in 2017, when Bitcoin had collapsed, somehow I stumbled upon this idea of a digitally scarce asset that over time, its supply diminishes, yet its network effects grow, meaning that the upward pressure can only be on price. I fell in love with this thing called Bitcoin, and I started pouring every single dollar into this asset. And you know what? I had all hope, all anticipation, the goal that the market would treat me good that it would let me have it, son. Whoa. Oh. And that that cryptocurrency would go to the moon. And lo and behold, last year, that happened. The cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, for those of you that know, uh, went from $4,000 to $65,000. I saw my bank account exponentially increase, and boom. All of a sudden, I was like, yeah, my life has changed. <laughs> oh, man, boy, was I mistaken. Boy, was I mistaken. As a matter of fact, acquiring that money, hitting that home run with Bitcoin, yielded perhaps the most depressing period of my life because it put into question everything that I had been seeking, everything that I had been aspiring to, and the importance of it, right? All of a sudden, I had the money that I wanted, but I didn't think, or it didn't fulfill me as I had anticipated. It didn't change me as a person. As a matter of fact, I was the same guy on the following day, except I had a little more money. So it really opened my eyes and allowed me to think about, yo, what is it that truly makes you happy? It took six, seven months of this depressive state for me to get out of it and realize that I wanted to make content for you guys. It's that simple. Now guys, what are the dangers of you investing your life savings, 10, 20, $30,000 in a cryptocurrency? I think nobody's talking about this enough because all of the crypto YouTubers are driving around in their Lambos and their Ferraris and their McLarens flexing on everybody, hoping that you'll click the referral link to the exchange so that you'll start trading too. But the danger of doing this, guys, is you put the onus, the responsibility of your entire money on a marketplace that's not only volatile, but it's at a peak. There's so much speculation in this marketplace Place that you could put all of your money in and you could lose it all. So I want you guys to understand both ends of the spectrum. Let's talk about best case scenario. You put all your money in, it 10 X's. You take 30 grand, it becomes 300. Let me be the bearer of bad news. First and foremost, $300,000, even though it's a good amount of money, isn't going to utterly transform your life. I know it's a shocker, bombshell. Oh, Mookie, what are you talking about? 300 grand is a fortune. Look, I'm not saying it's not a lot of money. I think it is a lot of money, but it won't transform your life. Perhaps it'll allow you to buy a house, to buy a car, and then what? You're out of money. You're then left with yourself right and now you have to figure out how to get that money that you never figured out how to get in the first place because all you did was hit a home run you hit a gamble so best case scenario you 10x 30 to 300,000 your life changes a little bit but you still got to get up and go to work every day let's talk about the flip side the worst case scenario and this is where this shit gets super dangerous worst case scenario you put your money in cummy token oh cummy token <laughs> you put all your money in cummy token and that shit goes to zero on the next correction. Guys, I can tell you, look, I've won in crypto and I've lost big in crypto. One day I lost three to four Bitcoin trying to do leverage trading, trying to expedite my level of wealth as opposed to doing it the right way. And you know what happened? I lost that money and the feeling of losing that money was so much more damaging to me mentally than it was to actually make some money in the first place. So what I'm trying to get at, guys, is look, you're damned if you get the money and you're damned if you don't get the money. So my recommendation, what I personally have done and what I've realized after going through both of these scenarios, you're way better off taking that money and investing it in you. You're way better off building a business 
right? Starting to get educated on sales or marketing or engineering or development or whatever gives you passion. That will drastically transform your future earning power and make you exponentially more happy than making Cummy Token go from 30,000 to 300. Trust me guys, like the money's cool, don't get me wrong, but when you're a person with money without the skills necessary to administer the money, you're just a broke guy with some zeros in the bank. And that really doesn't um, stand the test of time, right? And that's a sad part about all of this. All these channels, all these marketing mediums are pushing this idea on top of us that we're gonna get rich off cryptocurrency. And in reality, you just need to get rich off of yourself. And that's a sad part that no one talks about because most people believe they're incapable of getting rich. They're incapable of putting in the work. They're incapable of learning the skills. But I can attest to me being one of the persons that did that. I built a business from zero to millions of dollars. Right? I then took that money and put it into crypto and that happened to hit, but had it not hit, had it gone to zero, I would have been fine. I would have been fine no matter what. Anyways, guys, look, I hope that you got something from this video. I hope that you took it away because I'm really passionate about people trying to hit home runs and not betting on themselves. They're willing to bet on everything, but they won't bet on themselves. Anyways, guys, look, if you enjoyed the video, go down below, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.